Hey guys, and welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be talking about my week 3 progress for NaNoWriMo. So, I don't know how to really explain this, but week 3 was kind of a bust. Um, I've tried to write words, you know, like I think the only time that I'm very motivated is when I'm writing with other people on Skype or in like person with people. So I, for the first time in NaNoWriMo history, I skipped a day. And I've only been writing like 500 or 400 words. And I don't know, maybe it's because I'm stuck. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> but um, I've just been also busy with work as well. So it's kind of like, I don't know. The motivation's not there. And I don't know. Like, of creativity is not there. Like, I know where I am 125 pages later. And I know where I am. And like, I don't really know what's going on right now, and like I've kind of accepted that um, I don't have to hit 50k if I don't want to, or if I don't feel up to it, you know, I can always hit 50k and beyond after NaNoWriMo, and like, that's, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing, I'm not going to hit 50k, we all know that, <laughs> or more like I know that you guys didn't know that, um, even though NaNoWriMo thought I hit 50k, which is a whole different story. But it's like, it's been a process, and I don't know, it's just a struggle trying to figure out what is going on with me and my writing, because it's kind of rough. Yeah, it was kind of hard, because I've been trying to get this going and trying to, like, wrap the, rank up the pace and everything and make sure everything's going as good as possible, but at the same time, I feel like it's going to suck. And, um... Like, literally, I wrote 400 words last night, and then I immediately played League of Legends. So, it, writing's hard. I said this in week two, but, like, writing's hard. Especially, I feel like, since I've been writing every day for the past 19 days, maybe? It just, I think I'm just at the point where I'm starting to, like, I don't know, starting to, like, get overwhelmed and everything, and it's not like I'm making myself overwhelmed, like, it's just, like, the fact that the story is, like, happening, <laughs> you know, it's like the sequel, and, um, the story is ramping up the pace, and, like, I want it to be as good as it can be, like, I'm dedicating this whole entire month to this book, and, I don't know, I feel like I'm being burned out, that's, that's the word I was thinking about, and, um, I don't know, I just feel like the d I needed that day to not write because um, it just was hard. And I haven't written yet today, and today is the 22nd. I don't know if I'm going to write today because I have a little bit more work to do. And then also I'm going back to my al alma mater <laughs> for my um, sororities, like sibling bonding night thing. So don't know how much writing I'm going to get done. I mean, maybe I'll bring my computer. I've just been getting really excited with this book and trying to make sure everything is going to go well and I want it to be like the best sequel even though like I haven't gotten an agent yet um, I want it to be the best sequel for when people read book one and I want it to be to the best of its ability you know but like it's hard because it's draft one and draft one is just hard to get off your feet like I wish I was more drafts into it like that way I don't feel like I'm like in a slump or like in a mood to not read so or not read not write um and plus it doesn't help that I started so many shows <laughs> in the past month and I also started reading again so that's also part of it but like I, I know where this story is gonna go. I like, guess I said I planned out the whole thing, but that plan kind of morphed into something else. Originally it was supposed to be in three points of view. Now I'm just making it two because it's like I don't want to spoil it, but it's kind of a sister story. So like it's about this sibling relationship and stuff like that, um, and like finding their way back to each other. So I figured rather have it be in two girls point of views rather than two girls and a boy and I feel like if I did the middle point of view it would just it wouldn't help the story it would just kind of be there and it would involve the other characters but it just it <laughs> just didn't do anything that was my revelation is I'm gonna make it two points of view and two parts or not two parts but like two or three parts rather than like 
five, <laughs> like book one is, which I think I may have told you guys about. Um, but yeah, this has just been like a really slumpy week. Um, I don't think next week's gonna go any better. Who knows, maybe I'll have the motivation to go and like write <laughs> two or three thousand words in a day, or maybe in a few days, but like I don't really feel like it this week. Um, this week just wasn't like a, yeah, gung-ho writing week, it was just more of just a <laughs> let me sleep and let me do what I need to do kind of week, so. That being said, that was my writing update for NaNoWriMo week 3. Um, writing sucks. <laughs> life sucks. I mean, not like sucks, but like, writing life sucks. <laughs> just because I'm stuck. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little update for you. Uh, my name is Olivia, you're on Bookish Brookish Nice Channel, and I hope to see you soon in another video. Bye! <laughs>